Welcome dear students. I welcome you all for the second session of the video based on matrices of class 12th mathematics. So learning objectives of this session are that you will be able to add two or more matrices, you will be able to subtract two or more matrices and you will multiply matrix by a scalar quantity. Let us revise some of the concepts of matrices. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers or functions. The numbers or functions are called elements of the matrix. Matrix is denoted by capital letter and its elements are denoted by small letters. For example, this is matrix A, this is matrix B. The horizontal lines of the elements are called rows and the vertical lines are known as columns. This means this matrix A has two rows and three columns while this matrix B has three rows and two columns. A matrix having m rows and n columns is known to be a matrix of order m by n. The number of elements in m by n ordered matrix is m into n. Order of this matrix is 2 by 3, so number of elements are 6. Order of this matrix is 3 by 2, so number of elements are also 6. In general, you can write matrix A as A is equal to Aij order m by n, where i is in between 1 and m both included. Similarly, j is in between 1 and n both are included, where i and j both belong to set of natural numbers. So, two matrices A and B having same order can be added by adding their corresponding elements. In general, I can say that A is equal to Aij of order m by n and B is equal to Byj, Bij of order m by n. You must take care that these orders of both the matrices are to be equal. Only then you can add them to obtain another matrix C and order of C is also m by n. So, C, i, j all the elements can be obtained by adding the corresponding elements of the matrices. For example, this is matrix A, this is matrix B. Their sum is add corresponding elements and write here. Add corresponding elements, write here. Add corresponding elements and write it here. Add corresponding elements and write the last and the fourth one. So, let us do one or two examples based on addition of matrices. You are given these two matrices A and B. So, your very first step is to check their orders. Both of them are having same order that means you can add them. Since addition of matrices is also going to give me one matrix, so I will write in the matrix form only. You can add corresponding elements 1 and 5, then you can add 2 and 6, then you can add 3, 7 and at the end 4 plus 8. Then you can give your answer like this 6, 8, 10, 12. That becomes answer which is obtained by adding both the matrices A and B. For example, I am having two more matrices 1, 2, 3. This is which type of matrix? Row matrix and one more matrix D which is 1, 2, 3. So, this is which type of matrix? Column matrix. So, what will be matrix C plus D? Can we add them or can we not add them? What will be the reason? Matrix C has order 1 by 3. Matrix D has order 3 by 1. Since orders of both the matrices are not equal, that means C plus D is not defined. Fine. That means addition of matrices is possible only in the case if both the matrices are equal in order. So, let us study few of the properties of matrix addition. First is commutative law. 
for any two matrices A and B of the same order. You can have A plus B is equal to B plus A. Like you add 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1, you are going to get the same answer. The same is the case for matrices. For example, this is the matrix A, 1, 2 and that is matrix B. So, answer is 1 plus 3, 2 plus 4. B plus A, add in the reverse order, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 2 and you can see that both of them are equal. That means you can conclude A plus B is equal to B plus A and that proves commutative law for the given matrices. Next law is associative law. For any three matrices A, B and C of the same order, we can have A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. You can check out the placement of the brackets. For example, these are the three matrices given to you. They are having the same order. Order is 1 by 2. So, let us add them. First, we add A and B. That means 4 and 6. And after that, we will add matrix 5 and 6 here. So, this becomes 9 and 12. Now, I am going to add B plus C before A plus B. So, I will write A and then B plus C can be written as 8, 10. Then, in place of A, you can write this value of matrix A. So, it becomes 9 and 12. So, you can see answers are coming same. That means, this associative law is verified for the given case. The next property is existence of additive identity. In the case of numbers, can you recall which number is there, which is added to any number is going to give me the number back? Yes, answer is 0. So, similarly in the case of matrices, null matrix which is denoted by O is known as additive identity for of the same order, the matrix A and the matrix O, they must have the same order. So, A plus O is equal to 0 plus A should be equal to matrix A. Let us do it for this example of matrix A and null matrix of the same order. Let us add them. So, 1 plus 0 and here 2 plus 0. Is it giving me the matrix A back? Yes, for this case. For the second case, 0 plus A, I will write 0 matrix first and then A matrix and my answer is coming out to be 1, 2 which is the given matrix A. That means, we can conclude that null matrix is additive identity for any matrix A. Next property is existence of additive inverse. So, for any matrix A of order M by N, the negative of matrix A which is denoted by minus of A is known as additive inverse of A. That means, A plus minus A is equal to minus A plus A is giving me this null matrix, the additive identity. For example, A, so this becomes minus A, 1 has been replaced by minus 1, 2 has been replaced by minus 2. You add both the matrices, 1 plus minus 1, 2 plus minus 2. Is it giving me the null matrix which is also denoted by O? Similarly, add minus A and A, you are going to get null matrix. That means, negative matrix minus A is the additive identity for the matrix addition. So, find out the sum A plus B of the matrices A and B. This is 
exercise 3.2 of NCRT question number 1 part 1. So, you have to add the 2 matrices. So, this becomes 2 plus 1. We are adding the corresponding elements of both the matrices. So, after adding them, you can give your final answer. This becomes matrix A plus B. Next question is second question, fourth part. You have to compute this addition of matrices. So, this is, let me name them as A plus B, where this is matrix A and this is matrix B. So, let us add all the corresponding elements like this. Is it reminding you of any identity that you have done in junior classes? So, after writing all the terms like this, you can use the identity, the trigonometric identity that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So, answer is 1 in all the 4 cases and that becomes the answer for addition of these matrices. Next operation on matrices is subtraction of matrices. So, 2 matrices A and B of same order they can be subtracted by subtracting their corresponding elements. In general, A and B are two matrices of same order. Then you can obtain the difference of the matrix by another matrix C, where C i j is equal to A i j minus B i j. That means, i j refer to the same number throughout. For example, if I have taken A as this matrix and B as this matrix, then matrix A minus B or you can say matrix C can be obtained by subtracting corresponding elements like this. Similarly, for the second row, you can subtract corresponding elements and you will get the resultant of the two matrices. Let us do some questions based on that. This is again from NCRT. You are given these two matrices A and B. You have to find out their subtraction, the difference. So, go for the corresponding elements. See, that is minus 2. So, it becomes plus 2. And after that, give your final answer by solving them. 1, 1, 5 and minus 3. So, this matrix is known as subtraction of matrices. Now, one more extra question I have written here that compute A minus B and B minus A where A and B are given to you. Also check if A minus B and B minus A are equal. Let us do it. A minus B that means 10 minus 6. The second element will become 8 minus 11. So, answer coming out to be 4 and minus 3. For the next matrix B minus A, now consider B at the first place that means 6 minus 10. And the second element will become 11 minus 8. So, this is giving me answer as minus 4 and 3. What do you think? The answers are same or different? Answers are not same. That means, we can conclude that A minus B is not equal to B minus A. So, difference of matrices is not commutative in nature. Next operation on matrices is multiplication of matrix by a scalar quantity. What do we mean by scalar? Scalar means any real number. So, let us take A to be any matrix of order m by n. K belongs to R. Is any scalar? That means, scalar is any real number, may be rational, irrational. So, matrix K A is obtained by multiplying 
each element of A by K. K A can be written as K into A i j or you can take this K inside the matrix sign, you can multiply all the elements. So, negative of matrix A that is denoted by minus A can also be obtained by multiplying matrix A by multiplying each and every element with this scalar quantity minus 1. So, for example, minus A can be written as minus 1 into A. If A is this matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, then root 2 A, root 2 is a scalar here. So, when you multiply root 2 and matrix A, you will get all the elements 1 root 2, 2 multiplied by root 2, 3 root 2 and 4 root 2 as a scalar multiplication of matrix A. Let us now do some properties on matrix uh, multiplication with scalar quantity. For any two matrices A and B of the same order and scalars R and S, we have first property as R multiplied by A plus B as R into A plus R into B. And the second property says R plus S, when scalars have been added with the and multiplied with the matrix A, R into A plus S into A. Now, let us do one question of NCRT based on scalar multiplication. You are given matrix A and matrix C and you have to calculate 3A minus C. So, my very first step is to calculate this scalar multiplication of matrix A with 3. That means 3 into 2, 3 into 4, 3 into 3, and 3 into 2 again. Like this. Then you can compute these products and give your final answer 6, 12, 9, 6. Then your question says that calculate 3A minus C. Write down this matrix. 6, 12, 9, 6. You can write matrix C here, minus 2, 5, 3, 4. Then you can subtract corresponding elements, 6 plus 2, 8, 12 minus 5, 7, 9 minus 3, 6, 6 minus 4, so, this is the way you can calculate this 3A minus C. So, that is next question of NCRT. I have to find matrix X and I am given Y as this matrix and one matrix equation 2X plus Y is equal to this matrix. So, you let us start from the given quantity. You are given that 2X plus Y is equal to 1, 0, minus 3, 2. Insert value of matrix X, 3, 2, 1, 4, that is equal to 1, 0, minus 3, 2. To get the value of X, you have to shift this matrix to the other side of the equation. So, it will be written as minus of 3, 2, 1 and 4. You can carry out this subtraction also here. 1 minus 3, minus 2, 0 minus 2, minus 2 again, minus 3, minus 1, then 2 minus 4, that is minus 2. Then you can calculate this matrix X as, uh, because we are supposed to calculate this matrix X only. So, this 2 will be going to the other side and it will become half of that matrix which I will write here minus 2, minus 4, minus 2, minus 2. So, this is scalar multiplication again half is to be multiplied by each and every element and your final answer will become minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. 
So, that becomes answer for this matrix x and that completes your question. So, let us summarize whatever we have learned in this video. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers or functions. The numbers or functions are called elements of the matrix. A matrix having m rows and n columns is called matrix of order m by n. Two matrices A and B having same order can be added by adding their corresponding elements. Matrix addition is commutative that means A plus B is equal to B plus A for any two matrices A and B. Matrix addition is also associative that means for any three matrices A, B and C of the same order. We must have A plus B plus C is equal to A into B plus C. Null matrix is additive identity for any matrix A. Negative of A is additive inverse for any matrix A. Two matrices A and B having same order can be subtracted by subtracting their corresponding elements. If A is equal to A i j is any matrix of order m by n and k belongs to R is any scalar, then matrix k A is obtained by multiplying each element of A by k. So, that is all for the second session of matrices. In the next video session, we will study more about operations on matrices, which is about multiplication of two or more matrices. Thank you everyone. <music>